13 how's it going in this video I'm going to show you how to do your first scan with Nessus um, so go ahead and open your backtrack 5 mine's in my VMware and I'm going to go ahead and go full screen here um, I had Nessus open so um, you want to go to applications backtrack and then your vulnerability assessment and then your vulnerability scanner should show up as Nessus Mine's going to be different because the Backtrack 5 R1 didn't have Nessus in there in the menu, so I had to add it myself. So, um, once you have run Nessus and to set it up, there was a video that I made previously on how to set up Nessus. So, I'm going to open Nessus. I went to my IP address with the port number 8834, signed in with my Nessus account, and then I'm here. So when I'm here, now I can choose, you know, it's going to show, if you click reports, it's going to show what reports you've done. If you never done any, it's not going to show anything. Go to scans, and then you can add scans to start one. Policies, you can create your own policies here. So you can have shared, or you can have private. So private means it's only you that can, you know, see that. So or use that um, policy so you have different types of policies that are given to you except the private one that I made myself so um, and you can add as many users as you want you can add users inside it as well so um, adding policies you can give it a name give it a visibility a description you, um, set any scans commands in there or what you want to do uh, tick the boxes and then um, you got cred credential credentials sorry about that you can put your passwords and accounts and stuff like that in there if you want it to detect all that stuff um, it's just extra stuff I don't put anything really in there you got your plugins you can enable disable and select the ones that you only want to put in the policy so you can make a router policy only or a server policy only stuff like that um, preferences um, stuff like that so I'm just gonna go back to reports here to launch a scan you go to scans tab go to add give it a name uh, you know anything this is a test and then you what I do is usually I run now I've never tried the schedule or the template so I don't know how they work really um, policies to uh, down arrow and then you click on the one you usually use I usually use a long network scan is what I call mine you can give it a name um, my this policy is actually just if you want to know what it is it's just everything enabled so um, that's all I did was do for that policy uh, skin targets you put your IP address in here so the previous ones I'd use was my you know my router and my brother's IP address for that's connected to the network and you can also do a target file too and then you click launch scan now it depends on how many targets you have so the more IP addresses or systems the longer the scan is going to take so I'm going to go back to reports I already have some completed here so you don't have to wait and the first one here let me go ahead and rearrange that here uh, test uh, my first one this was the uh, router on my network which is a DDWRT net or uh, router um, it's customized so here it's giving me um, what this is is a report info it tells you when it was last you know updated or used the scan was it tells me that it was completed I can download the report in different formats show filters and reset filters you have host if you did more than one host it'll show more but in this scan I just did one which was the router and it says total there's 32 um, things to look at so we have a high a medium and a low and it gives you a number indicator of saying what how many problems there might be so um, and then there's three open ports so if I go under high here it tells me that there might be a DNS problem here it tells you what the service name is the protocol name is the port and everything so it's really cool um, 
how it organizes everything for you. I like that, actually. So I'm going to click DNS here, and double click, or I think, oh, I click high. Here we go. Number one, and then it says there's a cache, DNS cache poisoning. I'm actually re, uh, aware of this, and what it means is that uh, it actually tells you if you click on it what it tells you is the symptoms is that you're vulnerable to DNS cache poisoning what it means is that I can be DNS spoofed really that's what it means so um, it says t the solution is to contact your DNS server uh, so I would contact my ISP tell them about their DNS server and they can apply a patch if they really wanted to and then you can also look up on a website for vulnerabilities and it tells you more information really cool um, I like that. Now um, I'm just going to go back here and then under medium you know it'll tell you just about the same thing. Um, honestly don't know why it keeps doing that. Going back and forth in here. There we go. And then this one will show you all the low ones and you know you get the point and you can just you know you can click where it's at and they'll give you information about it. so basically this vulnerability here says you know you can make trace routes to this host that's normal and you can it'll also tell you um, how to prevent it maybe in there so it tells you what the output is and what the risk is and there is no solution so um, that's what th basically what the concept here is you have everything narrowed down to you now the second one is my brother's and I actually haven't looked at it yet just the router so he has nothing in high and now what his system is is Windows 7 and he should have everything up to date so he shouldn't have too many problems um, so we could just go ahead and check this out here what he has MDNS uh, detection it's a medium factor solution. He needs to filter UDP port 5353 if desired. So basically, this is Bonjour. It's for you know the the zero configuration protocol for uncovering information for other systems. So um, there's a lot to look in here and mess around with. It also tells you if there is you know if it's a high vulnerability. You know, it might tell you it can be exploited, and then you just look it up, search it with Metasploit, which I'll probably do in a future video. But this is just to give you the concepts of what this, what Nessus is, how to use it, how to get started with a scan, and um, you know, let me know, guys, if you guys run into an exploit on your own computer or on your own network or something. You know, you just really don't know what you'll find. So. Uh, Go ahead, leave me comments, uh, message me, you know what to do, thanks. Uh, talk to you guys later. Take care.